campaigns on, on all fronts, really. We didn't really have um, ideal clients. We uh, were poor on our systems. We had high staff turnover. Pricing wasn't great either. So I went on a journey. Like I said, I discovered uh, mentors and I started to learn from others in the profession. I started to, to read more widely in terms of trying to upskill myself in the realms of sales and marketing and just general uh, business knowledge. And the first place I started or the place where I started to get the biggest results was working on my pricing. When I started to learn about value pricing, I came across sort of Ron Baker. Um, I started to read a bit widely on pricing, started to implement some of the things that I was reading about and hearing about and saw that, wow, this stuff is powerful. When you start to make changes to your pricing, that has an immediate impact into your bottom line. I mean, we as accountants all know that when you increase your pricing, you do nothing else but add more profit to your bottom line. But we are so hesitant about doing so. So learning about value pricing, about realizing, well, you know, just changing the mindset in terms of back then, it was a lot of people, you know, we were still stuck in the, the time-based billing age and actually coming to the realization that you know this is crazy you know just because the, this is the way things have always been done doesn't mean that this is the way things should be done and coming to the realization that clients are not buying time from us clients don't want time from us clients want us to solve problems and the biggest problems we solve the more we can charge so let's focus on what are the value areas what value are we derive are we giving to clients what outputs what outcomes what results what solutions are we giving to clients and let's start to price based on that so that was a starting point really in terms of you know understanding value pricing and then starting slowly to implement changes